Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set up the Foscam C2 1080p wireless IP camera using the Foscam portal. First thing is plug in the power cable to the Foscam C2. Next, I'm going to plug in the network cable to it. I so push your network cable all the way in until I hear a click. And it'll take about, oh, 10, 30 seconds for the unit to boot up and like less than five seconds for it to grab the IP address from the wire connection. All right, once it does that, now I'm going to head to the www.myfoscam.com website. And you can register for your free account by clicking on the link right here where it says register now. And another thing you, should, you will need to do is download a plugin. So without a plugin, you would not be able to view the, the camera. So I'm going to head to downloads. I'm going to open the folder. So my download section, I should have Foscam web components.exe file. So I'm just gonna double click on this, launch it. Yes. Let me just go ahead and install this. Install. Okay, so I just installed the Foscam web components executable and close that window. And after installing a plugin, the best thing to do is to close the browser and reopen it. So I'm open Edge again, w.myfoscam.com. Even though you download a plugin, you're still going to see a pop-up. That's fine. So on the upper right for, for Microsoft Edge, where it says More Actions, click on that. Then you choose Open an Internet Explorer. On the bottom of the page, it asks you, do you want to allow the plugin to run? I'm going to click Allow. Then the page will refresh again. Here, now you can just click on security login, enter your username and password, then click security logon. So currently, I only have one device connected or added. So I'm on top over here, there's a plus sign that says add new device. Click on this. Then I choose either the network camera series or the baby series. So I'm going to choose network camera. And here's a little diagram. You can plug the camera into the router. Make sure your computer is also connected to the router. It doesn't have to be wired. It can be wireless as well. I'm going to click Next. And it automatically scan the cameras on my network. I found it. I'm going to select it. Hit Next. Now for a camera username. The default username for the camera is admin. And the default password is blank. Someone's hit next. I'm going to show what happens. All right, so it, de it detected that I'm still using default and it's prompting me to change it, which is a good thing. So I'm going to create a new account right now. Hit next. So adding the device. Next is going to say continue wired or wireless. So it's a wireless IP camera. Someone's entered the wireless information right now. I'm going to scan my network. Once it scans, I'm going to pick my SSID, the one I want to use, then put in a password. Now hit Next. Congratulations, your camera has been successfully added. Hit Confirm. Now I should, it should be able to pop up. So it says currently his camera's offline. Hit Play. Oh. Now I switch over to my Mac OS X operating system. And I'm going to also use the Foscan web portal, put in my username and password, then click login. It, for Safari, same thing. Since it's my first time logging in, I do need to download the plugin for it. So I'm going to launch that plugin, go to downloads, right click on this Foscan cloud package, click open, and hit yes, open it. And hit continue, continue, install. And install it. All right, it's installed. And of course, after it's installed, best thing is to exit Safari, reopen Safari, then put in the web address again. So I'm putting my password. And hit login. 
Now I'm able to view it on my Safari as well. So I also have my iPhone here too. If I were to open up the FileScan Cloud app on my Android device or my iOS device, take this one for example as my iPhone, I just need to log in with the same user ID and password that I used before on the website. And now I can hit play for the C2. And yep, it's up and running too. Thanks for watching this video on how to set up the Foscam C2 using the Foscam Cloud web portal, which is the myfoscam.com. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Walker Hamster. Bye.